Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use shared preferences in Android. So shared preferences is really handy to use if you have a small collection of key values that you'd like to save. So you can use it to store things like the username um, and like whether or not they have dark mode selected, little things that you'd want to keep um, while the user is in your app. So how it works is you create a shared preference object and this object points to a file which contains the key value pairs and it provides methods for you to read and write. So let's just jump straight in here guys. I am going to create a new Android project. I'm just going to call this shared preference tutorial. Now so the first thing that we're going to do is come to our res folder and we're just going to open up our activity main and we're just going to drag two edit text box onto the page here. Now so one of these boxes is going to be for the username and the other will be for an email address. So let's just put in some text views above them as well. So I'm just going to call this first one name. And I'm just going to copy and paste this here and call the other one email. And because we're using a constraint layout, I'm just going to put in some constraints for all of these text boxes. So I'm going to center them all horizontally and put in some vertical constraints as well. And once we have that done, I'm just going to add a button. And this button is going to be used to save the data to the shared preferences. So we're just going to call this save. And once again, I'm just going to center this into the middle of the screen. Now, so let's just head back to our main activity here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is create an edit text. So we'll just call this uh, name and email. And we want to create a button here as well. And we're just going to create our shared preferences object. And we'll just call that SP. So if we come down here into the onCreate method, we are quickly just going to find our uh, edit text box. So we're going to say name is equal to find view by ID. And we'll do the same for email and for the button here. And once that's done, we can set our on click listener for our button. So we could just say button dot set on click listener. And we're going to say new view dot on click listener. And if you just hit enter, it will create the on click method for you. And I forgot to create some strings for the name and for the email that we're going to take in. So let's just go up and do that really quickly. And once that's done, we can say name string is equal to, and we'll just get the text from the edit text box. We'll say name dot get text dot to string. And we'll do the same for the email here, guys. So email string is equal to email dot get text dot to string. Now guys, we want to instantiate our shared preferences. So let's just say SP is equal to, and it's get shared preferences. And you have to pass in the name of uh, your shared preferences. So in this case, I'm just gonna say my user prefs. And then you have to say the mode. So I'm gonna say context.mode private. Now once that's done we can come back into our onclick listener and we want to create what's called a shared preference editor. So you can just say shared preferences dot editor and we'll just call it editor and we can say that's equal to our sp dot edit. So you're using the edit method for your shared preferences. So with our editor we can actually use the put string method. So we'll say editor dot put string and we can just pass in the string which was typed in by the user which should be in the variable name string and we'll just set our key as name and we're going to do the exact same thing here for the email then we can just say editor.commit and that will commit these strings to the shared preferences and we're just going to make a quick toast here to say that we successfully added them Now I just want to come back to our activity main and I'm going to add another button. So we're just going to put this down towards the bottom of the screen and we're going to use this button to go to a new activity. So I'll just call it new page. 
So the reason I'm doing this is so that when we save our data to the shared preferences, I'm just going to show you that you can uh, get the data on a completely different activity. Now, so let's just jump back to our main activity here. We're just going to declare the new button that we just made. So I'm just going to copy and paste everything and I'm going to set an on click listener for it as well. And inside the on click listener, we're just going to make an intent to go to our next activity, which is called other page. And we can simply just say start activity and pass in our intent here. So let's create the other page class. So let's just make the class public and we'll make it extend app combat activity. I'm just going to grab the onCreate method from our main class here. And we need to just change the layout file to activity other and we're just going to create this file here. So inside this XML class I'm just going to drop two text views. So one of these is going to be for the username and the other one is going to show the email address and we can actually get the information from the shared preferences in this intent. So let's go back to our other page activity and set these up. So if we go text view T1, T2 and we'll just uh, find the view by ID here. So it should be text view 3 and text view 4. Below that we're just going to create our shared preferences object and we'll call that SP. So we'll equal that to get application context dot get shared preferences. And we're just going to go and grab the name of the shared preferences from the main activity. So we call it my user prefs. I'm just going to copy and paste this in now. And once we have that we can pass in the context dot mode private. Underneath that we're going to create a string called name and we're just going to get the name from the shared preferences and we're going to do the same for the email address. We're going to say sp.getString and we'll say email. So now we should have the name and email stored in these strings. We also have to just put in an empty string here for the second parameter. We can just say t1.setText and we're going to pass in a name and then we can say t2.setText and we're going to pass in our email string. The last thing that we want to do is come to our manifest file and we're just going to create the activity. So we're going to say activity and we're going to pass in other page. So this is so that we can actually move from one activity to the other. Now so let's just test this out here. So I'm just going to pass in some values so we'll say john for the name and john at gmail.com for the email address. And I'm simply just going to save this into the shared preferences. And let's move on to the next page. And as you can see, John and John at gmail.com. So that's it for the tutorial, guys. As you can see, shared preferences is very straightforward and easy to use. And if you enjoyed the tutorial, make sure you like the video and subscribe.